the award-winning Merchant Ivory Productions enter their 30th year of filmmaking with their new release, Howard's End, a vibrant drama filled with wit and tradition based on the classic 1910 novel by E.M. Forster. Miss Stegel expects me to act as house agent for her. <laughs> I want a new home in September, and someone must find it. I can't. Do you know of anything, Percy? Can't say I do. I wish you would give us Howard's End. Howard's End, I'm afraid, is left. It's about inheritance, and it's about empire, the revolution in England, the social revolution that goes on. Howard's End stars acclaimed British actors Anthony Hopkins, Vanessa Redgrave, Helena Bonham Carter, Emma Thompson, James Wilby, and introduces Samuel West. I've been reading The Ordeal of Richard Feverell. Yes, I remember this. There's, there's that chapter where Richard walks all night. In a forest by moonlight. Yes, and Margaret, what, 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 what's that wonderful? Oh, I know. Um, um, I know exactly what you mean. Yes. Um, the, the forest, forest drooped glimmeringly. glimmeringly. Howard's End celebrates Merchant Ivory Productions' 30th anniversary in the movies. Producer Ismail Merchant and director James Ivory's cinematic collaborations include such superbly well-acted dramas as Heat and Dust, Mr. and Mrs. Bridge, and the E.M. Foster film adaptations of Morris and the Academy Award-winning A Room with a View. In Howard's End, written by longtime Merchant Ivory collaborator and Oscar winner Ruth Prower Jabala, the filmmakers return to the Edwardian age of Forster's England. Howard's End is really about showing the relationship between two different families, one of whom is uh, in one family, the Schlegels, who are cultured, uh, idealistic, uh, philanthropic, contrasted with the Wilcoxes, who are rich, conservative, very, very conservative, imperial, Im empire builder types. Never discuss at Howard's End, except perhaps sport. Oh, but you should. Discussion keeps the house alive. Portraying sisters Margaret and Helen Schlegel are dead again's Emma Thompson and Helena Bonham Carter of A Room with a View. I mean, out of all the Forster, Forsterian heroines that I've played, certainly Helen's the, been the most enjoyable. Yes, like and also, there's a certain no. battiness and absent mindedness about her. And um, she's somewhat outrageous within that time, even actually with, outside her time. What's wrong? It's to be ill. They're starving. I found them starving. Who is starving? The Basts. He has lost his place because he's been turned out of Dancer's Bank. They reduced their staff, and he was the first to go. Yes, thanks to us. He's done for. We've ruined him. Are you mad? Would you like I'm mad, but I'll stand for this. No, not for two people starving. And people are all this vulgar show. What I love about Margaret and Helen is that they're not the loving wife, the dutiful mother, the, that there is nothing ordinary about them. Anthony Hopkins, who stars as Mr. Henry Wilcox, found working with Merchant Ivory to be a most collaborative experience. It was for me a great event because James is the sort of director who will let you bring in your own ideas and uh, if he likes it, he'll go with it. I'm a Schlegel. I've had you up here on false pretenses. I want to speak on a much more serious matter than the house. Um, Do you think you could be induced to uh, share? I mean, is it at all probable that... Oh, yes, I see. Howard's End features extraordinary ensemble acting, stunning cinematography, and memorable music by Richard Robbins, with many of the scenes filmed in various locations throughout England. Producer Ismail Merchant. We go to the right locations. These carriages going back and forth, and, you know, the traffic going in, in London area, or downtown in the city in London. All that looks very sumptuous, very uh, grand, because these buildings have a very imposing look to it. Perhaps one of the greatest challenges for the filmmakers was casting the right British home as Howard's End. It had to have a kind of individual distinction and its own sort of personality as a house. It's not a grand house at all, it's just a kind of refurbished farmhouse. It is here at Howard's End where the many threads of the film converge to determine the future of England. We are so lucky that, you know, a celebration of 30 years of Merchant Ivory, we have focused on a film that is perfect in every way.